good morning and it's time for another tick or fix. Um, let's see how you got on with the morning maths challenge. Question number one was 10 plus 10 plus 10. How many tens can you see there? One, ten, two tens, three tens, and three tens. What are three tens? Three tens are three tens are thirty. Well done. Yay! Tick or fix. Next question. Seventy take away six. Seventy in your head. And count backwards. Phase six spaces at the same. And the answer is. 64. Yeah. We've got another question here where we're adding more than one number together. 5 plus 6 plus 7. You could do this however you want. You could go 5, add 6, and then add 7. Or if you want to be like me, you could go backwards and start with your biggest number. So 7 add 6 is 13. Add 5 is 18. So the answer was 18. How did you get on with that one? Tick or fix? Six fives. Six fives are 30. Hopefully you know your, your five times table now. Six fives are 30 or five sixes are 30. Next question. 80 divided by 10 is? That's right. It's 8. Now you know that when you divide by 10, it's quite quite easy because there's a little clue in the question. Okay, but remember, we're not taking away the zero, we're dividing, we're sharing our 80 into 10 equal groups, and there are eight in each group. So be careful not to say, oh, just take away the zero. We're sharing 80 out into 10 equal groups. That's what's happening there. Next question is another missing number question. This one's missing. Take away 20 equals 30. What's our missing number? Hmm. I'm going to use the part part hole diagram to help me. So which number am I going to put in the hole? Is it going to be the missing number? Is it going to be 20? Or is it going to be 30? Now remember, we always put our biggest number in the hole. So if we're starting with this number, and then getting smaller, because takeaway makes numbers smaller, we know that this has got to be our whole. So 20 and 30 are parts. I'm going to put 20 here, I'm going to put 30 here. 20 and 30, 30 and head, not 10, 10, 40, 50. So the answer was 50. How did you get on with that one? Are you finding these missing number problems a bit easier now you're practicing a bit more? <laughs> Next question, 21 plus 78. I've got a number line all ready to go. Which number am I going to put at the front then? 78. Because it's the biggest number, so then we'll have less distance to go. If we put this one first, we've got to add on 7 tens and 8 ones. It'll take longer. But if we put 78 here, we don't have as far to go. So I'm going to put 78 here. What am I going to add on next? I'm going to add on 2 tens, 1 ten, 2 tens. 78 add 10 is 88, add 10 again is 98. Well done, looks like we're going to go over 100. Oh no, we're not, because we're just adding 1, 1. Add 1, 80, 98, add 1 is 99. Oh, we almost got to 100 there. So 21 add 78 is 99. <laughs> Well done, tick or fix. Let me know how you're getting on with these calculations. Are they finding are you finding them a bit easier? And these missing number ones, are they getting easier? Keep practicing them. Next question: three quarters of twelve. Okay, so I've got twelve. I think we found one quarter of twelve yesterday. Three quarters are just the same. Twelve into four equal parts in my cups. One, two, three. Oh, shout out 12, really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I want how many how many quarters do I want? So these are all quarters now. How many quarters do I want? I want three quarters. So I'm gonna circle around three and count how many I've got. We should be able to count in threes. Three, six, nine. So the answer is nine. Three quarters of twelve 
is nine. Those are quite new problems for us as well, so keep me informed on how you're getting on, keep telling me. And next one, two thirds of 18. So I've got to make this into how many equal parts? We've got our denominator, three, three, and the numerator, the number on the top, tells me how many I need to do, but we need to share these out first, don't I? So 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And this numerator says that I need to have two of these, don't I? So two of these, six and six is 12. So two thirds of 18 are 12. <laughs> Pick or fix. And last one, 98 add 10, because sometimes we can find it a bit tricky to go past 100. So 98 at 10, we know it's gonna end in the same amount of ones because 10 doesn't have any ones. So we know it's gonna end in an eight. So 98 at 10, 99, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. 108. Well done. Let me know how you got on and keep practicing. See you later, bye bye.